this place future. This particular sentence in turn holds history's past. Past is not just one past. It's past in flow, not singular. We are dealing with archaeological, biological, geographical, linguistical, and indeed geological history. Now, <clears throat> that really means, friends, Africa, the African continent, has been believed to be the cradle of humankind in the 20th century. Africa, the continent of Africa, has been believed to be the cradle of humankind. That is the evidence of the 20th century. When you turn around to look at the evidence of the 21st century, it really opens the question. In other words, African continent is no longer the cradle of humankind. It could be in South America, it could be in Greenland, it could be in any other part of the world. So, <clears throat> my friends, we look for evidence. The longest archaeological evidence showing human beings in our part of the world, that is in Australia and here in Papua New Guinea. In Australia, between Sydney and Canberra, there is an old lake. It is called Lake Mungo. And so archaeologists have found, they dug up evidence, and they found what they call Mungo skeletons, showing human beings who are living in that part of the world for 68,000 years. 68,000 years of human beings living in that part of the world, in that corner of the world, that love. That's mind-boggling, isn't it? 68,000 years, human bones have been dug up to show that they hunted wallabies, and so on in that part of the world. There is another piece of evidence. And that piece of evidence is nowhere found other than Papua New Guinea. Not far from here where we are sitting now having a nice dinner. You walk I don't know how many kilometers. You come to the Ivane Valley at the Goilala Mountains, Owen's Henry Range. Archaeologists, biologists, geologists have found that human beings who are living up in that part of the world in a very Conditions which are much more older than now. And they believe that 
human beings have been growing yet. I am yet. And you are hunting for tenderness. You are kaluka. Not to eat, to prep, to eat and live. And according to evidence, human beings were living up there 49,000 years. 49,000 years. Isn't that incredible? And that's what you and I are here for. We don't have to go very far to find this kind of evidence. 